Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So today in this video we are taking a look at this. This is a USB Wi-Fi dongle. So my computer recently is having problem with the LAN port so I decided to purchase this one. And this is the TP-Link TLWN725N Wi-Fi dongle. Apparently it supports speeds up to 150 megabits per second. This is the packaging it came in. You can see the USB dongle. The USB dongle is very small. And on the left you can see the compatibility is written here it is compatible from windows xp all the way to windows 10 it is also compatible with linux and mac operating system so this is the cardboard packaging so without any further delay let's just take a look at what we get in the box uh, also i paid about uh, 500 rupees uh, 499 rupees on amazon but i've seen that people have bought this uh, at lower prices during sale so in the box uh, you get a driver CD, you get a small installation instruction which is very small as you can see a couple of pages there and of course you get the dongle itself. So let me take the dongle out. So this is the dongle and as you can see this is a very small dongle and there is a small LED there on the back you can see it says TP link. So let me just plug this in my computer and see how this works. So this is my Windows 7 computer and as you can see I haven't got any network adapter installed at the moment. And this is my cabinet so it is an extra USB port. So let us plug in our TP-Link dongle and let's see what happens in our Windows 7 computer and whether we will see on Windows 7 computer do we need to install drivers or will this work out of the box so let me just install it so it is now installed i'm not seeing any leds but on my computer it says that device driver softwares was not successfully successfully installed that means we need to install drivers on windows 7 so let me just go on tp-link website and install the drivers from there and then we will see whether this works or not Okay, so now let us download the driver for our dongle and to download the driver I've connected my modem to my computer temporarily. So this is the web page. Let's go to the TP-Link website. Let's type in TP-Link, uh, T-P-L-I-N-K, press enter. Once you go to TP-Link, click on this first link which says tplink.com. After clicking on that link, you can see there are different options available. But on the top right, you will see one option that says support. Bring your mouse on the support option and then click on download center. Once you click on the download center, you will see that this page will come up. Here you can find your model number or in this page, we will put our model number or you can also search at the bottom. So our model number is written on the box. You can see the model number is TLWN725. So let's put TL in. Uh, T L and when you put T L in you will see different options will already is already displaying. So do we have a Wi-Fi router? No. We are not having a range extender. Yes, we are dealing with USB adapters. So in the USB adapter our model number is this one T L W N 725 as you can see on the box T L W N 725 and here is our model number. Let's click on it. Once you click on it, it will direct you to this page. On this page you need to choose the version of your uh, USB dongle. If you take a look on these, uh, your box you will see that this is the version 3. You can see model number and on the right you will see version 3.0. So you've got version 3.0 select V3 for version 3 and then go at the bottom there are three options setup video of FAQ click on the driver option. This is the driver option click on it. Once you click on the driver option, you will see that it will display drivers for different operating system. In this case, it has Windows 10, Windows 7. In this case, we are installing uh, the driver for Windows 7. So let's download this. Click on it and it will ask you to save a Windows 7 driver file. Click on save on the desktop. And as you can see, it is now downloading a file. This is only uh, about 9 MB file. So let us uh, wait uh, for a second for the file to download while this is downloading. As you can see our file has downloaded. Let's click on it. So once you click on the file you will see there are these files. Click on the setup 
double click on the setup and now let us install the driver click on yes and now it is searching for the device as and i've already installed the adapter as you can see the adapter is already installed there so it is downloading downloading the driver for the usb adapter let us wait until it finishes the downloading so as you can see driver is completely installed let's click on ok and once the drivers were installed you can see it displays a new driver found and let's check the dongle as well so you can see the dongle previously the dongle was not flashing but now the dongle is flashing that means our drivers are installed so let us see whether we've got wi-fi in this very old computer or not also this computer is very old this is more than like 9 or 10 years old computer so this is our computer let's click on the network setting and as you can see on the network setting this is my modem and this is the tp-link wi-fi so let me remove my ethernet cable uh, from my computer uh, as you can see at the moment I've got internet access because we've just downloaded the driver using the internet so let me remove my ethernet cable so this is my ethernet cable so ethernet cable is gone and we've also lost the internet connection as you can see my computer my desktop very old computer now has Wi-Fi and it is now displaying my other router this is also a TP-Link router and my desktop is detecting my router Wi-Fi as well so let's click on it let's click on connect it is searching for my router which is this one so it is asking for password now let me put in my password using this keyboard and let's see whether we are able to connect to the Wi-Fi of this router with this USB dongle or not let me put in my password So I've added my password, let's click on connect and then we will see whether we are able to access the internet or not. So as you can see, it says internet access. Let's click on a web page and see whether we've got internet access or not. Now let us search something. Let's again search for TP-Link, T-P-L-I-N-K, let's click enter. Let's see whether the page opens and as you can see the page is opening. Let me just click on it again let's see whether it opens or not as you can see the page is opening and we're connected through wi-fi on my very old desktop computer so on the windows 7 this is how you install the driver and you can make this usb dongle work within a couple of minutes now let us test this dongle on windows 10 as well so i also did a small speed comparison between the two so this is the first picture that you are seeing right now is the speed of my internet when i was using the wired cable from my router and uh, this picture is the internet speed that I was getting when I was using the Wi-Fi connection. So you can see there is no difference between the Wi-Fi connection when I was using the uh, cable and when I was using the TP-Link Wi-Fi dongle. The only difference you will see when your internet speed is very very high. In this case my internet speed is very slow so I, I, I never saw any difference between the speed. Now let us uh, plug this, uh, try to use this dongle with a Windows 10 PC. Alright guys, so this is my Windows 10 computer. So let us install our Wi-Fi dongle and see whether on this computer we need to install the drivers or not or whether this will work out of the box. So the first thing that we need to do on our computer is we need to uh, sorry disable our main Wi-Fi of this computer because this is a laptop. So we will go to the network setting at the taskbar and click on network setting. On here as you can see our Wi-Fi is already off. So let us minimize this window. Now let us plug in our Wi-Fi dongle and we will see whether it is detected or we need to install any drivers or not. And apparently it looks like it is already detected. And as you can see the light is also glowing. That means we don't need to install any drivers or Windows 10. But just to confirm this, we will uh, go to our network setting again and see whether our Wi-Fi 2 is detected or not. Click on network setting 
also you can see that there are two Wi-Fi displaying this is our main Wi-Fi and at the bottom you can see our secondary Wi-Fi which is our USB dongle Wi-Fi but let us go to the network setting anyway to confirm so this is our network setting and here you can see previously it was displaying only one Wi-Fi connection but now it is displaying two Wi-Fi connection and the Wi-Fi 2 is our uh, USB Wi-Fi adapter which is enabled at the moment so let us go to a web page and see whether we are able to access internet or not well, as you can see at the moment we don't have internet so let me just refresh this page just to show you so as you see I just refreshed the page and we did not have any internet so now I'm going to enable the Wi-Fi on my phone hotspot on my phone and then we will see whether this works or not so my hotspot is now enabled let's go to the wi-fi setting at the taskbar we are already on wi-fi 2 here is our wi-fi connection phenomenon let's click on it click connect now type our password so our password is now entered let's click on next so as you can see our wi-fi is now connected let's so this is our web page and as you can see we are able to access our web page that means our wi-fi is now working and it is working using our wi-fi dongle also you can see the led glowing that means uh, our wi-fi dongle is working on windows 10 so that means we do not need to install any driver for windows 10 for this wi-fi dongle so there we go guys this was my video on this tp link usb wi-fi dongle i hope you find this video helpful thanks for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye bye